So as a developer, you sometimes have the need to expose a um, localhost uh, web server to the internet for some people to see, or if you are a gamer and you want to expose some uh, server that you are hosting to some friends, um, there is an easy solution without changing uh, anything in the router, and that is by using this tool, ngrok. Um, the free version, there is a free version, it may be enough for you. Uh, it creates HTTP and TCP uh, tunnels. Um, and it's like this. Um, you'll have to download it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and it will create a secure tunnel. Uh, so I had already downloaded one. So I'm just going to copy this to the desktop, for instance, and now I'm going to show you how to use it. So as I said, I'm using this website here, port 5000, and I want to expose it to the internet. So I'm going to write, before I forget, you have to authenticate yourself by using this this command so now ngrok knows who you are and uh, i'm going to start by saying ngrok i'm exposing um i want it to be exposed through a, a http endpoint on localhost 5000 and if i start it i can see here it's on the usa at the moment and i have this url with this URL, I can come here and I can access my website from the outside world. <coughs> so, and now if I come to my web server and I bring it down, it will show this. It will show that it cannot reach localhost 5000, which is okay because I turned the server down. Um, so I'm going to start it again. It takes a little bit to start. Um, it doesn't only work uh, on HTTP, it also works on uh, any TCP port. So if you, are, if you have a, a, a server and you want to expose some port on the internet from your internal network, it's also possible. I can show it here. So for instance, I have my router here. And of course it cannot be exposed from the outside. Um, if I'm now going to, now I'm going to do this and grok um, HTTP2, but I want it to be forwarded to this machine on my local network. So, and it's now doing exactly that, oops, I think I did it too much, try again. So now my um, login, uh, my router page is accessible from the outside. So, but usually you don't want this to happen, you want to expose some internal server. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope it helps you. It definitely helped me. And um, like and subscribe. Everyone says that. <laughs> Bye.